Hello, good day everyone. In this video, we will see how an oxygen analyzer works. Now this oxygen analyzer is a very important equipment used on board the ships. Basically, when you are entering into the enclosed spaces, you need to check how much is the oxygen inside that space. So you use oxygen analyzer. Also, when you are inerting a space, inside that space, for example, the cargo tank of a cargo tanker, okay, for a tanker ship, you are inerting that space, inerting the cargo space. So the oxygen has to be less than 8% inside an inerted tank. So you need to measure the oxygen. Okay, for that you use the oxygen analyzer. If you are making an entry into the enclosed space, the oxygen content should be 21.8% or, or, or more. So you need to use an oxygen analyzer to see the oxygen percentage inside the space. So for that purpose, we have this oxygen analyzer or oxygen meter. Now, like all gas meters, this oxygen analyzer works on the principle of Wheatstone's bridge. Okay, in the Wheatstone bridge, let's go to this diagram here now. There are four resistances, R1, R2, R3, and R4. If R1 by R2 is equal to R3 by R4, then there won't be any current flowing in the Wheatstone bridge. The Wheatstone bridge is said to be balanced. And inside this galvanometer, galvanometer there will be no movement of this needle and there won't be anything. The reading will be zero. Now, this oxygen analyzer is based on the principle of paramagnetism that oxygen is attracted towards a magnetic field. Oxygen is attracted towards a magnetic field and different gases have different thermal conductivity. And this is the principle on which this oxygen analyzer is based on. Okay, let's see how. Now, in this diagram, this is a galvanometer which shows the percentage of oxygen. These are four resistances, R1, R2, R3, R4. There is a platinum wire here in uh, resistance R3 and a platinum wire here in resistance R4. This is a diffuser or a filter and this is a baffle between these two chambers. This is the point from where air is withdrawn or drawn into this gas meter, oxygen meter and air is given out. Now when air is taken inside on the resistance R3, there is a magnetic field here a magnetic field is created. So this attracts oxygen. From the air, it attracts oxygen. So here there is oxygen. But in this chamber, there is only air. There is no oxygen because oxygen is attracted here in this magnetic field. So this oxygen has a different thermal conductivity and this air has a different thermal conductivity due to which there will be a current flowing. Now R3 is not equal to R4 because there are two different gases, both having different thermal conductivity. And therefore R1 by R2 is not equal to R3 by R4. And that current flow will be shown here in this galvanometer, which will show how much is the percentage of oxygen inside that space. Okay, So air is drawn in, oxygen is attracted here towards R3, here R4, there is only air. Both the gases have different thermal conductivity due to which there will be a current flow and which will be shown here on the galvanometer as percentage of oxygen. And this is the working principle of an oxygen meter or an oxygen analyzer. I hope gentlemen, all of you have understood this. If you have any questions or any doubts, please, you can write your doubts in the comment box. I'll try to reply to your doubts. Also, if you like this video, please share this video with your friends and also please subscribe this channel so I get motivated to more, make more such videos. Thank you for watching this video again and please don't forget to subscribe. Okay, thank you.